हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू फाइंड मल्टीप्लिकेटिव इनवर्स और राइट सो लेट अस अज्यूम दैट यू आर गिवन अ की हुज वैल्यू इज ट्वेंटी इन डोमेन सेवेंटी थ्री एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द के इनवर्स व्हाट विल बी द के इनवर्स वैल्यू और राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू चेक दैट द इनवर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी इज पॉसिबल और नॉट वी हैव टू चेक दैट जी सी डी ऑफ ट्वेंटी कॉमा सेवेंटी थ्री इज इक्वल टू वन और नॉट इफ इट इज इक्वल टू वन देन एंड ओनली देन द के इनवर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी वुड बी पॉसिबल सो हियर फॉर ट्वेंटी एंड सेवेंटी थ्री वी नो दैट सेवेंटी थ्री इज अ प्राइम नंबर सो बट ऑब्वियसली द जी सी डी ऑफ ट्वेंटी एंड सेवेंटी थ्री वुड बी इक्वल टू वन सो इन दिस केस मल्टीप्लीकेटिव इनवर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी इज पॉसिबल सो टू सॉल्व दिस we have to use the exact method of the euclidean algorithm which is also known as uh, greatest common divisor method only so this is just the extended euclidean algorithm so what extended we are going to use over here is this is i am going to show you now all right so first we had q we had r1 we had r2 we had r and the extended thing we have over here is t1 T two and T. Now to calculate T value, we have formula. T is equal to T one minus Q into T two. This is the formula to calculate T. All right. Minus. So now let us take our value R one that is seventy three, R two that is twenty. Right. So, three twenty-three is a sixty. Remainder is thirteen. Now, as we saw in Euclidean theorem, we have to shift it. So twenty and thirteen. So one seven. Now thirteen and seven. So one and the remainder would be six. Now seven and six. So again one. Here we will be getting remainder as one, six, and one. So multiply by six, and here we will be getting our answer is zero. Now shift is one and zero. So what we did here is the basic basic division we did basic division multiplication steps we took over here, where r is our remainder and q is our quotient. So twenty into three sixty remainder is thirteen. Uh, thirteen one is thirteen remainder is seven. Seven on the seven minus uh, remainder is six. So this we have done over here. Clear? Now let us move to find this t value. So to start with this, first of all we have to provide t one and t two as zero and one always. Now let us find t value. So for t, the formula is t one minus q into t two. So zero minus three into one, which would be equal to minus three. Now again we have to shift this so one and minus three so for here q value is one so one minus minus three into one which would be equal to one plus four uh, one plus three I'm sorry which would be equal to four now uh, minus three four all right so here minus three minus four into one which would be giving us minus seven. So four and minus seven. Now four minus minus seven into one. So four plus seven, which would be equal to eleven. So again shift minus seven and eleven. Now uh, minus seven uh, minus eleven into six. That is sixty-six. So minus sixty-six minus seven uh, gives us. Minus seventy-three, right? Now eleven and minus seventy-three. So here we can see that we have to always check for the correspondence of this one. So in corresponding of this one, whatever value comes is the multiplicative inverse of our key value. So here our corresponding to one is eleven. All right. 
so here we can surely say that key inverse of 20 in domain 73 is equal to 11 all right thank you